Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I have on review YouTube Copycat. This tool will allow you to convert your YouTube videos into different type of written content. I would be happy for myself to get a tool which can convert my YouTube reviews into blog posts. So let's see how this tool will work. So what features we are getting. We can have auto-publishing to our WordPress site, so we can connect our site and auto-publish our content. We can get summaries, and I believe blog posts and Twitter threads. There is only one plan available called Productivity, and you're getting 50,000 words of GPT-3 and 10,000 of GPT-4. And you can have your content generated in more than 30 languages. All right, so let's go straight to the demo of YouTube Copycat. This is their main dashboard. So we have several features available. YouTube to Twitter, YouTube to blog article. I think I am interested the most in this one. YouTube to newsletter could be interesting as well. And YouTube to summary and to custom. It's nice to have this feature so you can add your custom prompt and generate any type of content from your YouTube video. What else we have here? There is feature auto publish on WordPress blog. I have added my site, so we'll see how it works. And as well, you can subscribe to a particular YouTube channel and you will be given short summaries from new videos. All right, so let's start testing. YouTube to Twitter. Here is the video, language English, let's use emojis, tone, let it be entertaining, style, engaging, let's generate Twitter thread, and for this one, let it be GPT 3.5, and let's generate. So we are generating tweets from my recent review of Guide Jar. So it was quick. Okay, so we've got the main tweet and follow-up tweets, I believe. The content is relevant. Maybe I was expecting a bit longer thread. I saw tools generating 12 tweets in a thread. Maybe let's try and generate one more time. Okay, we've got, again, just four. All right. Getting back to tools. One point of improvement that I can see is that maybe it would be easier to generate all of that type of content in one go. Maybe you can choose what you can generate. For example, blog article, newsletter and summary. And at the moment I don't need Twitter threads. But anyway, let's proceed and generate the content one by one. And let's move to blog article. It says it will generate SEO optimized blog article. Here are the settings, though I don't see where you can put your keyword. So I'm not sure how it will be SEO optimized if you cannot enter your keywords. But anyway, let's proceed. Tone friendly. Let it be informative. Lens alone. Now let's use GPT-4. So I can see the long content will be about 1,500 words. And let's generate. And while we are waiting for our generation, let me open a new window and generate other type of content. Let's go and check newsletter. So for newsletter, I'm using my YouTube video where I'm doing my tools of the year awards for the 2023. So go, yep, let it be entertaining, tone, casual, and model, let it be 3.5. And let's generate. Yep, here it is, my video, best lifetime deals of 2023. So I think it could be nice to have a newsletter from this video. Let's quickly check that. All right, I've read through this newsletter and I think it's actually a great one. So it's really entertaining. 
it highlights some categories that were mentioned in the video. I like informal language, like it says, it's like the Oscars. Yeah, overall, with some editing, I think that could be a very nice newsletter. So we can copy that as text or HTML. Okay, so let's get back to our blog post. So here it is, our article, and let's start looking at that. So I can see before the main article, there are additional pieces of content, like here is your meta description for a blog post. That's nice. So it suggests SEO keywords. So this Unschooler product is a tool with which you can create your online courses. You just enter a topic, well, a prompt for ChatGPT. So for any topic, you can create your online courses there. There will be added YouTube videos and you can host your courses on that platform. So I'm looking at SEO keywords and those seem to be relevant indeed. So it is online course creation. It is alternative to Kajabi and Teachable e-learning interactive courses, course wide labeling. So mostly I think those keywords are correct ones because I saw many tools trying to suggest SEO keywords and probably the first time I see it more or less useful. Yeah, nice. And then we are getting a short summary. Maybe it can be as a short description of your blog post. Nice. And then we are getting our blog post. First of all, Let's take a look at the number of words generated. Okay, we are getting close to 1000 words. Not too big. However, maybe for a review video could be nice as a starter. So let me read through some of the chapters. Well, I've read through the article and for YouTube video review, this article I think is a really nice one. Not sure how the tool will behave on different topics, but I think for a review video, 1000 word is a good start for a blog post, which will complement your YouTube video. Yeah, honestly, I think it's a solid review article. Of course, you will need to add images, links to videos, edit here and there, but it's a great start. So let's try to publish that through this integration and go to auto publish page. I think we need to add new auto publication. Well, I think it will mean that when you upload a video to a particular channel, or it can be a video from any other channel, then it will be auto published. So I think I cannot just manually publish my blog post article that I have just created. But anyway, auto publishing, I think it's a very cool and nice feature. So you can just put any YouTube channel here and then automatically when any new video will arrive to that channel, you can post to your connected website. Pretty nice. Okay, moving next and now let's test YouTube summary feature. Here's the video where I compare several bulk AI writers and let's generate. Okay, here it is, we've got our summary. Well, I think that's a very nice summary. It was a pretty lengthy video, maybe about 20 minutes long, and we've got a very nicely structured and short summary which caught the essence of that video. And even we've got the right conclusion, I can see that based on the tests, performed in that video, WP Autoblog really was the most efficient tool for a particular task, which I was describing in my video. Yeah, so I saw tools trying to do summaries, but I think this one, YouTube Copycat, provides really nicely structured and good quality summaries. Okay, so moving to the last feature, YouTube to Custom. Let's use another video and create our custom prompt. Okay, here is the quick prompt. Of course, you can play with it to make it better, but just for the test, I'm asking to generate three 30 second YouTube short scripts based on the content of particular video. So let's use GPT-4 and generate. 
Yep. So while we are generating, I think another point for improvement could be adding ability to save your custom prompts. So you don't have to re-enter that each time. And again, great feature here would be to choose what kind of content you can generate from one video in one go. For example, generating blog article, newsletter, and some of your custom content. And even better, if you can add several of your custom prompts. All right, so here it is. Yep, we are getting scenes, breakdown, narration. It suggests what to place on the screen, which is nice. Then what to tell. Yep, that's nice. All right, so let's move to the conclusion. What I think about YouTube Copycat. Definitely it lacks few features, like I just mentioned. It could be nice if you could save your custom prompts and be able to generate different kind of content in one go, not just one by one. What else is missing in my opinion? Ability to post recently generated blog article because there is feature to auto post from new videos posted to YouTube channel. But it could be nice to post the article that you just created. That being said, I think YouTube Copycat delivers really high quality content. Yes, they provide less features, less type of content to begin with, like Twitter, blog article, newsletter, and summary. But in my opinion, I think they really fine-tuned well their prompts to ChatGPT, so they are providing really good output. So they decided to focus on less features, but deliver those in better quality. Overall, I enjoyed using YouTube Copycat, and I think I even will try to post uh, an article using that first draft that I've generated using this tool. Regarding deal structure, it could be nice if you could stack a few codes because for now you can buy just one code and maybe it could be a good start, 50,000 words, but for some cases it could be not enough. But anyway, you can buy a few codes and create different accounts. Though again, it could be nice if you can stack a few more codes. All right, so the link will be in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.